Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're going to be looking at a Mauser large ring hammer from about 1901 or 1902. And this gun is in essentially factory new condition, so just kind of give you an idea of what they look like when they came out of the Mauser factory. This one, uh, as I said, is in the 30,000 serial number range, early 30,000. So sort of right before Mauser went to the small ring hammer. Mauser went to the small ring hammer right about 35,000. So this is sort of getting close to the end of these uh, sort of strange looking large ring hammers. As you can see, this has got really nice vivid fire blue on the small parts. It's got a really nicely strawed gold trigger. Um, the grips look a little bit wet because they are, for one thing, they've got factory varnish on them and they also have a little bit of silicon as well. The gun itself has some silicon on it, so it's going to be a little bit shiny. But this has got the nice thick uh, blue that you're going to expect from the commercial guns. It's got Mauser's address as usual on the side here. Uh, typical barrel length with a typical front sight. This has got the thousand meter rear sight here. And as you can just see, just really nice fire blue, really vivid color there. And then vivid color on your long extractor there as well. And Mauser actually went to the short extractors right around serial number 36, 37,000. So this is near the end of these as well. And this gun is actually, I believe this is in the, yeah, right there in the 32,000 serial number range. And just a good looking example with your sort of shallow panel milling that Mauser decided to do after the um, after the flat, uh, flat sides that they did in the 20,000 serial number range for whatever reason. And uh, really nothing else amazing about this gun. It is actually cut for a shoulder stock here. And as you can see, not a lot of wear here on the back. Doesn't really look like it's had a shoulder stock put on it very much, if at all. And you've got your matching serial numbers are going to be repeated multiple times with the small parts numbered as well. Also this one internally the magazine uh, follower is numbered as is the magazine floor plate as well. The other interesting thing is a lot of these guns from the serial number range that you see in America are going to be stamped right here with a mark that says Von Lenkirk and Detmold and they were the standard American importer for these guns. This one uh, does not have that. So this actually did come from Europe and somehow stayed in really nice, nice condition, even though it went through all the turmoils that Europe saw through the 19, uh, through the early part of the 20th century. Uh, as always, if you enjoy what you're seeing, remember to like and subscribe and we'll be doing more videos on all kinds of cool military shortly. Thanks for watching.